Welcome to Little Big Thumbs. My name is JP, aka Big Papa Thumbs, and today we are taking a look at Lucky Numbers. This is published by Tiki Editions, and the artwork is by Christine Alcouf. The designer is Michael Schacht, who you might know from other games such as Colorado, and the award-winning Spiel des Jahres winner, Zuloretto. The core game experience is for two to four players, and there is also a solo puzzle mode, which we'll get to in a little bit. Uh, the game time takes approximately 20 minutes to play and is recommended for ages eight and up. Now, let's head to the table and see what is inside this box. Let's go. So here we are, we're looking inside the box of lucky numbers. You can see we've got four player boards and four colors of clovers for the player counts as well as some rule books and of course the box itself and that is all that's inside the box as far as the quality goes we've got some uh some cardboard pieces here these are these are not too thick they're not too flimsy as goldilocks might say just right the just right size nothing too fancy just functional for what we need for this game now, the, the setup for the game, uh, we are going to take one color of a clover per player in the game. So let's say that we're playing a two-player game, and we'll set aside those two colors of clovers there. We will take all of the clovers for those two-player colors and flip them over and make ourselves a supply pile. Okay, so we've sorted out our, our clover tiles face down and each player will draw four random clover tiles and add them to their player board. Those tiles will be placed in, in ascending order, and you can see we've got designated spots on the board here, and those will go in there, and those will be ascending. So the lowest number is in the top left corner, and the highest number is in the bottom right corner. Now the goal of this game is to completely fill this player board with 16 tiles. And those tiles need to be organized in ascending numerical order, both from left to right as well as top to bottom. Now every turn of Lucky Numbers involves drawing a clover tile. And that will either come from, from this draw pile here, or if there are face-up tiles on the board already, then you can also choose to take one from the face-up selection as well. And after you've taken a tile, you're going to attempt to add it to your board. So if I take a tile from the board, see I've drawn a seven here randomly, that can go somewhere that'll legally fit on our board, remembering that we've got to do ascending numerical order, left to right, top to bottom. So this seven here can go here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or there, but it cannot go over here because that would be that would be out of ascending order with that 13. It's lower than the 14 and, uh, and it could not go there for the same reasons. So uh, if I didn't want to place this seven, I could also choose to discard it face up onto the table. So again, we can take a tile from the draw pile. You can take a tile from the face up uh, discard area and then your options are to add it to your board. So let's say I, say I took this six, I can add it, oh, let's say there. I can add it to my board. Or if, if it suits my needs, I could choose to replace a tile. And the replace tile goes into the face up discard area and that would go there. And that particular option, not a great choice for this particular game, but that is an option. And your third option, as I mentioned, is to discard that tile into the face up area on the board. Now, as I mentioned, the play time on Lucky Numbers is 15 to 20 minutes, and and that is that is it. That's pretty consistent. It's uh, in in my uh, 10 or 12 games that I played of this, uh, every game has lasted 15 to 20 minutes, except when I was playing with my daughter. Then it's a little bit longer because we're we're doing some learning and teaching along the way. All right, let's transition over to our thoughts on this core game of Lucky Numbers. Okay, we're back up here and we're talking about lucky numbers. This is a quick, puzzly game that's easy to teach, easy to learn, and it, it's got the feel of like a classic mainstream game, something like a like a sequence. Uh, I would happily recommend lucky numbers to, to families or friends that might not be familiar with, with modern board games. 
uh, and, and it's got a quick play time, which means that even if it doesn't go over gangbusters with those people, then, then it'll be done pretty quick and it's not going to ruin anybody's evening. You can get on with the rest of your game night or if you're just hanging out socializing, you can move on with that as well. Now, is this game an interactive game? Yes, to a degree. Uh, it, in order to succeed at Lucky Numbers, you'll need to watch what other players are placing onto their boards and make sure that you're not discarding tiles that will, that will set them up for their own success. And in that sense, there is a degree of interactivity to the game. There is uh, plenty of, of quality, meaningful decisions to be made in Lucky Numbers. They're not overwhelming. They're not the kind of decisions that are going to slow down the game. And as I mentioned, it's going to stay right around that 15, 20, maybe 25 minute time frame. Uh, and so that's what the decision space looks like. Now, of course, we are little big thumbs. And so therefore, I've got to ask the question, is this a game for children? Now, my oldest daughter, just turned six years old, and, and in playing this game, the sequencing of the numbers, putting them in order, was not a problem, and we had a good deal of fun playing the game. Uh, she did really well. It looked like she was going to sweep the floor with me until those last couple of turns of the game, in which, in which you're trying to get those final puzzle pieces of your player board in order. And in that case, the game slowed down for her because you do have to think ahead a turn or two in those last and those last few turns of the game, and she wasn't quite able to put to put those gears together in just the right way to finish me off. And in that sense, it wasn't a perfect fit for a six-year-old. Now, uh, the box does say that this is recommended for ages eight and up, and and I think that's a probably a pretty good recommendation. Of course, every child is different. Every child has their own uh, the, uh, speed and development that they're learning at. But I think probably ages eight and up in general is probably a pretty accurate statement for children. However, we've got the true test here. The real question that we ask when playing games with children is that did my big bean, did she ask to play lucky numbers again? And the answer is yes. Not only that, but she pulled it out on her own, opened it up and wanted to teach it to her younger sister, who is just four years old. Now, of course, they didn't wind up playing the game by the rules because there's four and six years old. So they wound up playing with the tiles and organizing them and, and having some fun in their own way. And in that sense, uh, the, the components of Lucky Numbers can make a potentially great teaching tool for, for math and sequencing and just learning how numbers uh, relate to one another. And so that's, that's how things go with kids. And uh, as far as final thoughts of the core experience of Lucky Numbers, this is a this is a good, if not a great, casual game. Uh, it's it's an approachable puzzle experience and a number game that can be played uh, that can be played with a variety of experience levels, and it's it's going to go really well on a gaming shelf. Uh, and so that is uh, that's that. Oh, I oh, I also should mention uh, that this the two to four player game of Lucky Numbers is available on Board Game Arena, and that's an online gaming platform where players can play a number of games digitally on their computers playing online with other friends either people that they know personally or random players across the world worth checking out if you're interested in board gaming uh, online i know that for many of us in the board gaming world board game arena saved our sanity and so we appreciate their existence and the fact that lucky numbers exists on that platform uh, all right Let's now, so that's the, that's the core experience, that's the two to four player experience. Let's head back down to the table and spend a few minutes talking about the solo experience of Lucky Numbers. All right, we're back at the table and we are looking at the, the solo puzzles for Lucky Numbers. And uh, you can see here, we've got a separate solo rule book, which actually includes 40 different puzzles for you to solve. Now, the goal of the solo game is the same as the multiplayer game in that you have to arrange 16 clover tiles so that they are all in ascending numerical order from left to right and top to bottom. And the turns, however, are different. Each puzzle is going to start with 16 tiles already on the board, and they are not necessarily in order. Uh, turns in the solo game involve swapping tiles, and those can either be adjacent tiles, like so, or 
they can be tiles that are on opposite ends of the same row or column. So I could, for instance, swap this 8 and 20 because they're on opposite ends of the same row. Uh, so those are, those are your options in the game. That's it. It's just swapping two tiles, trying to get yourself into the position to have your 16 tiles in order. Again, ascending numerical order, left to right, top to bottom. And, uh, and each of these puzzles is going to give you a number of turns in which you should you you need to have your puzzle finished by. Now, I've set up the the sample puzzle that's in the rule book here. Uh, that sample puzzle needs to be finished within three rounds. Uh, and so uh, and so those that that restriction, those number of turns that we've got to work with, that is where the bulk of the tension in this in this solo game comes from. So now let's take a peek at how to play this this sample round of lucky numbers. All right, so we've got three turns to finish this round. And so we can see, we can certainly see that this 16 here is out of order. And, and we've got the, the one down there that's out of order. So in this case, we could swap those two numbers. Boop, boop a boop And so now we've got 14, 16, 19, and 20. Those are all in order. 8, 9, 17, 20, those are in order. Looking at the top row, we've got 2, 1. Oh, those are not in order, so we might choose to swap those two. So now I've taken two moves. I've only got one left to finish this puzzle. So now I've got 1, 2, 5, 8, 4, 7, 13, 9. Well, oh, those are not in order. And so I might choose then to swap the 13 and the 9. So I've taken my three moves. So let's double check real quick that, that this puzzle has in fact been solved. 8, 13, 17, 20, 5, 9, 15, 19, 2, 7, 12, 16, 1, 4, 10, 14, 14, 16, 19, 20, 10, 12, 15, 17, 4, 7, 9, 13, and 1, 2, 5, 8. So that is a successful solo victory for this puzzle. Now that was just the, the sample puzzle. Again, there are 40 different puzzles to solve in this book. So lots of content to explore with the solo game. And, and that, that is, that is in a nutshell, what the solo experience of Lucky Numbers is all about. Okay, let's head back up and we'll wrap up today's video. All right, before we wrap up this particular video, I want to hit you with a little big question. And that question is, what is your lucky number. If you do have a lucky number, why is it significant to you? And if you don't believe in lucky numbers, please let us know why not. Leave a comment in the, the this YouTube video and let us know. Give us a response to this episode's little big question. All right, here we are. Final thoughts in this video of lucky numbers. Uh, we've looked at the solo as well as the multiplayer modes of the game, and and here's 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 the verdict. Here's the thoughts. This is an approachable and affordable game that's going to fit a variety, a wide variety of player experience levels. Um, hardcore gamers are probably not rushing out to buy this game for their own collections, but I guarantee you that the average player is going to have something that they're going to enjoy in this game. And that, and that makes it a really versatile game for a great number of board game shelves. In fact, I would say this, this game, Lucky Numbers, would make a really phenomenal gift. So if you've got, oh, say, extended family that you want to introduce games to, Lucky Numbers might be the answer. It's that kind of game that is going to be easy to get into, great decision space to work within, uh, but is not going to be scaring anyone away, which is a which is a great spot for a game to be in. Um, uh, the the solo game, which we just talked about, is a is a nice addition to the game. Uh, I don't believe it was in the original uh, printing of this game, but it is now in this new Tiki Editions version, and it's 40 puzzles. So if if you are someone or you know someone who likes crossword puzzles, Sudokus, those sorts of logic experiences, the solo mode for Lucky Numbers is going to scratch a really great itch. And uh, I will say, however, for me personally, I want my solo games to feel like I am playing against another person or some sort of like entity that I have to defeat 
to win the game. And in that sense, I'm probably not going to be revisiting the solo mode of Lucky Numbers too, too much. However, the multiplayer mode is one that we have played, I'm going to say 10 or 12 times. And that is, that is, a, it's a great spot for, for both, for both my, my older daughter to, to dive into, as well as my core gaming groups that I hang out with. We played this game on Board Game Arena, as I mentioned earlier. I played this game on the table, and it is going really well. And I expect that we'll be revisiting Lucky Numbers again and again and again over the weeks and months and maybe even years ahead. So in that sense, two big thumbs way up. Thank you to Luma Imports for sending us, gifting us, this review copy of Lucky Numbers, making this review possible. And if you like this video, please give us your little big thumb. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you along for the ride. And so, until next time, this is JP saying whether you're a little player or a big player, make sure you're playing games that make your thumbs go way up. Bye for now.